So after playing a few games on this account, I get an Anivia skin, which I'm able to redeem. And I thought it'd be fun to first pick Anivia ADC, which not only provides a team with a control mage that has a ton of CC, it's going to make the enemy think it's Anivia mid, they'll counterpick me, and then my mid gets to counterpick them. Now, unfortunately, in this first game, my Malzahar sees the enemy Yon, and it's pretty much for sure going to be Yon mid. But not only does he not counterpick the Yon, he also picks a control mage, which you don't need two control mages. It's not one of those things where it's like the more the merrier when it comes to control mages. It's not a good recall spot. What is that recall spot? Holy crap. Okay, it's a bait. It's a 200 IQ bait, actually. Got the Yon's Flash, Ignite, and Malzahar, who picks Malzahar no matter what, so that guy's hopeless. He gets a free lane, but he's hopeless, so it doesn't matter. About that. See Skarner. I think Kha'Zix did the appropriate thing, which was invade the Skarner after his red got taken. No, he's really aggressive. Jeez. Dude wants blood. He wants it right now. How many autos? I can't auto him down, I guess. My autos do no damage. This guy got two. Hmm. Well. I'm not really happy with my Nidalee if I'm being honest. The guy's way too reckless for really no reason. If you're playing poker with someone that just constantly all ins for no reason, feels like that's uh, what we're gonna get egged here. Okay, I'm fine with it. We can get the cannon mainly. Got it. Yeah, I don't know about the rest of these. It's hard when your support is non existent in the game, like he's dead level one and it walks back to lane and then just feeds. So we're just surviving here. We don't get one rank of W just in case Ezreal uses a bad essence shift. Good damage there. I think ranking up E might have been the way. Oh. Okay. We clear this and then get my catalyst. Don't worry about that nonsense. I could walk over in W, but yeah, they might even uh, be done so for this. Oh, they're doing dragon. Steal? I didn't steal. I don't know what's going on there. Did anyone die? One guy did. Oops, I didn't stun him. I don't know what's up with this team. They just suck major ass. Cause uh, yeah, it's a Malzahar that just picks Malzahar no matter what. And I was thinking about dodging that and I sh just should have dodged it. I think maybe we'll just go next almost and then see what happens when I actually get a mid lane that knows how to counter pick the counter pick to Anivia. Then we'll not dodge basically. So next game, unfortunately I was not recording, but our mid accused me of trolling. And then in his infinite wisdom, he's going to explain how we need an AD carry or it's just not playable. That's not a bad start. I don't heal unfortunately. I do have a egg though. Da -da. Nice. I could have eaten him earlier, but I wanted to secure the kill, aka kill still, with my E, which I shouldn't have done. Lux walks back to lane and gets chunked. Whoa, Lux, chill, bro. I have TP, so I'm not too worried. And I should have enough for my catalyst. Yeah, just beautiful. Got a beautiful back here. Yeah, unfortunately, I was not recording in Champ Select, so you guys can't see that my Aurelian Soul picked Aurelian Soul last, despite seeing the Akali pick. And he actually is doing work. He kills the enemy jungler somehow, which is fantastic. And to be fair, I am losing. No, I'm actually winning in farm. I was looking at someone else's farm, thinking I was. Oh, I was looking at Aurelian Soul's farm, thinking it was mine. Actually, kind of funny. Oh. Yeah, he should have waited for me to... Yeah, he's done though. He's not going to juke that. Oh, he does. If he just waited for me to wall there, we kill Lulu. But she did actually flash, so never mind. Didn't matter. It is a nasty combo though. With my wall if Lulu's in a, in a bad spot. Just wall her off and then Lux can bind. 
Yeah, basically with the Nivea, you're just waiting for six, and then you can just ult lane and shove, and at that point you have a complete lane priority. I don't really care if he freezes here. I just want it back and get my tier. Which I could rush Rod, but do you feel like just having a fat mana pool so I can walk in a lane and then just R the lane? We got a feeder at top, hardcore. Which is not really that good because we need a physical damage to get fed. Because I don't want the enemy to... Whoa. This dude is getting bodied in mid and he counterpicked this guy. CS is 66 to 32. That's the type of guy that's going to accuse you of trolling in the champ select. It's actually nuts. He's about to get soloed almost. He uses R for nothing and then E has to babysit him. Meanwhile bottom we're just constantly wave clearing. There's no threat of us ever dying and I think we just lose off the top probably. Because Trend actually hard counters E, E can never burst them, and like there's never a situation where I can just prevent the Aurelia from feeding. There's really nothing you can do about when you're the first pick Anivia. Like, I'm last pick top lane this game, you know, I could have prevented that, but it's um, first pick Anivia player. And like, mid's not even winning, too, that's the bad part. Mid just constantly shoving, I think, and then Akali's roamed to the e just now it's gonna be one of those games where you know we just play it out just to see what happens maybe but i don't think i'm gonna play it out so i've lost two games in a row and i need to reclaim some of my mmr so i'm gonna try to win a couple games queuing as a mid because it's just so easy to win games from mid if you have someone playing the strategy i was playing first of all i don't know what this guy's doing by the way this is what happens when you uh lose two games in a row i guess you get free wins same guy who needs to second pick top lane doesn't ask the team to swap him or anything and i am banking on my top laner being good because if i'm first picking scion they counter me with jacks you should be countering them and like i'll do a strategy where i get the last pick every time on a different account and we'll see how that goes And that's game. I'm, I'm good. And yeah, this game, like my other two Anivia games, I first picked my champion and my team failed to pick a good composition around that champion and they failed to counterpick their lanes appropriately. So we just auto lose basically. I still want to do the 200 IQ strats where I first pick something weird like Scion mid, and then my last pick top lane counters their counter pick to Scion. And my idea for that is I'm going to incorporate my Patreon, which you only have to pay a dollar a month for. Anyone that's subscribed to that can DM me on Discord asking a duo. And every time we win a weird off meta game, the person I duo with is going to gain points. After a month, the person that gets the most amount of points is going to win a prize. Like I'm thinking 50 bucks right now. Although I got a couple sponsored videos coming up and if those do well, then I'll raise the prize. And if my Patreon starts getting more money then I'll also raise the prize. In the meantime in my next video I'm only going to be picking last in the game and basically seeing how hard I can carry because yeah I had some pretty horrible experiences in these last few games.